hello subscribers welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you on how to use mobile topographer this is mobile topographer uh, after the successful installation of the app the first thing you have to do is to set the app so for you to set the app what you do is you click on these three icons here on this page you go to settings you click on your settings so for you to set the reference system Geodetic reference system, you click on it, then you select the reference system for your country. Uh, you can see now from for my own country, I select Mina 2008 UTM zone 31 to zone 33 in Nigeria. You can see it on green here. That's what I select. Then after it's done, after you are done with setting it, this is the main page for the hub. We have survey points, convert drive mean satellites so for points point simply means that the numbers of saved data on the hub that is like the point values of what you've picked so far and then for convert when you click on convert i've shared a video on that before under convert you can convert to you can convert from eastern Eastern Northeast height, that is your UTM values to lap and long. And this icon here, this one here is going to enable you to. When you click on this arrow, this orange arrow here, when you click on it, when you click and then you click on these three, these dots under the app here, it's going to allow you to change it to uh, degree minute and seconds. And if you don't want it to be on degree minute and seconds, when you click on it, it's going to be on decimal. That is for that. So now, if you want to convert from UTM to lat and long, so you just supply your your values for UTM. You put your eastern northeast heights. You put the the zone of that coordinate. Then you click on this red convert icon here. You give click on convert. So it's definitely going to convert it to lat and long. You can watch my video on on that. I have a video on that on how to convert it. So that is that on that on how to convert now for the main uh another thing now the beauty of this app is that you can use it to pick coordinates of points on site you can use it to pick coordinates so for you to pick coordinates with this app you click on survey then after i click on survey you can see this is this display on survey on this, we have WGS84. If you want it to display lat and long, if you want it to be displaying latitude and longitude, it's going to be on WGS84. But if you want it to be displaying eastern northern height, that is your XYZ. You click on it, it's going to give you me now like the reference system where I set it to the other time. You can see me now 8 UTM. So this is the XYZ for the point where I am currently. So, but you, what you do is that you have to make sure uh, it resolve well before you pick the coordinate. So, you will give it a little time. You make it to resolve. You can see the accuracy is currently on uh, 1.40. So, now what you do is you click on this this icon that, that is on, on blue color. This blue icon color. Start accurate position. You click on it. So after I click on start accurate positioning, the one down, the one, the values reading under it, you make it, that is what you be checking, that is how you check. I mean the accurate position. Yeah, is the one on red is on accurate position, while the one on green is on current reading. So what you make sure you record, what you record is the one on accurate position. So when after you check the accuracy you make sure it resolves well depending on how you want it to resolve you can leave it for like you can leave it to you can leave the you can leave it for it to resolve very well on site before you pick it so after you, are, you ensure it's already resolved you make sure you it resolve well you just click on this stop accurate position you click on the red icon then it's going to change to black so what change to black is what you record you just click on this 
plus icon this note plus icon here and then you give it a name i can give it like point one then i'll click okay i'll mark it so that it has record that point for me as point one so i can just i'm done picking this point so what i'll just do is that i'll click on this start accurate positioning again then i'll let it i'll move to my next desire point then i'll make sure i drop the phone there for it to resolve well and another thing is i'm on with my data the reason i'm on with my data is i can actually confirm the location after i'm done picking the points the mobile data is on so uh once i want to stop the accurate positioning maybe the accuracy i'm satisfied with the accuracy then i'll click on then i'll click on stop accurate positioning so i'll just record it i'll click on this note icon here i'll just i will record i will save it as point two another thing is if you want this app to pick the point itself automatically what you do is that you click on this auto so anytime you click on auto once it's resolved to a certain uh, point to a certain accuracy it's going to pick to a certain accuracy it's going to stop itself and pick the points so let's check now this icon here is going to display the numbers of points that you speak so far with on the app so these are the two points of i just pick on the app we have point one and point two so after you check the point that you pick on sites you can just click on this polygon icon so it's going to take you it's going to bring out the satellite image for you to check what you speak on sites so let's let me just zoom So this is the two points that I've picked on site, and this is the location. This is the two points. So you can confirm the location of points that you pick on site when your mobile data is on to confirm if what you, you pick is valid to see how it is. So we have uh, this icon here. This icon uh, we give you the area of the polygon let's assume you pick a four points you've deleted the previous job that you save on the app and you want to confirm the area of those points that you pick the polygon you want to confirm it so it can automatically detect the area of the polygon you pick so what this did was that it added the previous work i've done like convert coordinates point one and point two it added everything sum everything up which give me my area so you can it uh, this app also enables you to get your area the, this is a uh, uh, the beauty of this app is that it enables you to select the type of format that you want to send you can send using km or, or you send using csv so we have five under five here we have dot csv dot t csv dot kml dot gps dot t x d x f and likes Another thing about this app is that when you click on this icon map here, this icon that looks like map, it suggests it will suggest apps for you, apps that you can use to open the recent points that you pick, that you can confirm those points on those apps like Google Earth, mobile Google Earth, mobile app, apps that you can confirm the points, the coordinate, the points that you pick. So uh, that is that's on how to use mobile topographer thank you